Yo, what's up? Samurai Tacos 1 here. We're gonna be playing some Yakuza like a dragon. Infinite wealth. So come, chill. Join my gilded channel. Community lines. Show, I'm gonna crush you. Show me what you got. Street punks. Let's get it done. Here we go. Allow me. Take this. Let's get it done. Here we go. Screw that time, you know. It's caught. This is it, Kiryu-san. You're sure this is the place, Kasuga? Kasuga? Yeah, I'm sure. Might have been pissed drunk, but my memory's sharp as ever. Doors open, Kiryu-san. Hey! Is anybody home?
it's just the same as it was that night. Kiryu-san, you find anything? No, I can't say I have. But let me ask you something. What's up? What's up? You're sure this is Akane-san's address? The place her mother lives? Uh, it should be. Not that I've actually seen her here, but... How about this, then? Is Akane-san the woman in this photo? What the...? She looks older, but yeah, that's her. But wait, what are you doing with her photo, Kiryu-san? What's going on here? Remember how the Daidoji ordered me to find and detain a certain someone? Akane-san's that someone. What? You're telling me some government spy rings after my mom? I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. <sighs> Yamai! What's he doing here? Hmm. Causing trouble, no doubt. You know him? He's pretty infamous in Hawaii. Hawaii? At least in the underworld. The underworld. Well, seems we've got company. Nice ride. Ah. Shame I had to do that. Go. Tomizawa. Don't disappoint me this time. I, I, I won't. Guess we're doing this. Too bad they don't know who they're dealing with. Ready to bust some heads, Kiryu-san? Not today. Let's slip out through the back. Huh? Uh, Kiryu-san? Zawa, right? Looks like your mind got you pretty bad. You healing up okay? Just shut up and stay put, all right? If, if I don't take you out right here, it's all over for me. His hand's shaking. I doubt he has a shot at this range. On my signal, you get in the car. Hold that thought. There's something I need to do first. What are you saying? Uh, hey! Kasuga! One more step, and these bullets go right through your brain! My advice? You put that down and get yourself over to a hospital. Actually, we could even take you. Oh yeah? Is that some kind of threat? Tell me, did you swear an oath to Yamai? What? Yeah, so what if I did? I say you slap that oath back in his face. Uh. In the Yakuza, your boss calls all the shots, whether it means life or death. That also means he better be worth your blood on his hands. So tell me, is Yamai worth it? I can't just... Look, I don't have a choice here, man! If I back out now, he'll kill me. You don't know him like I do. We can help you. <laughs> what? 
Huh? What? What'd you say? I said, we can help you, and I meant it. We'll make sure your mind never lays a hand on you again. You can count on that. Why? Why, though? After everything I did to you? Do I look like a fucking moron? <laughs> you look like you're about to shit your pants. Believe me, though, I've been there. <laughs> Where all you want to do is scream for help, but you know no one will answer. That's a dark place to be. Thing is, sometimes you will get an answer. I learned that from a man who bailed me out when I was just a young punk on the streets. So I figured I ought to pay it forward. And now would be the time. <sighs> Had a boy, Toby Zama. That's more like it. Let's see who we're dealing with. Oh, this fool again. Yeah, this fool. Why the hell are you here? Took the words right out of my mouth. Where's the old lady? I don't gotta tell you shit, man. Oh, you'll wish you had. Tomizawa. Shoot him on the count of three. After that, we can try your buddy over there. Say, I know you. Boss? No, perhaps not. Back to business. One. You still have a choice here. Two. Tomizawa! Some choices you can't undo, I would know. So if you're gonna take us out now, get ready to carry that weight for the rest of your life. <laughs> and three. <laughs> Tomizawa. Holy shit! Holy shit! I would shot him! Hey, but you didn't, all right? Now don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Ain't that right? Yeah. The man's made a bold step forward. Let's do our part and clear the path ahead. Okay, boys, listen up. I want one man maimed and the other murdered. Doesn't matter which, but save Tomizawa from me. I'll make sure he wishes he was never even born. Oh. Show me what you got. Guess I'll teach you some manners. Okay. Looks like I'm on. <laughs> Let's get it done! Yeah. Uh, well, you talk, you have to play the hero. That's picking time! A uh, little big for your breakfast, eh, Tommy Sawa? I'm losing it. Let's get it done! Here we go. Looks like I'm up. That's picking time! Allow me. Alright! Let's go! 
Let's get it done. Here we go. Looks like I'm up. Allow me. Hardly not fair to fight. <laughs> On to the next level. On to the next level. Heroes heal. Come on, get in! Uh, okay. Kazuma Kiryu. You're alive! The dragon rears his head once more! Little Japan. Originally, Yamai was in the Tojo clan. It's part of the Tabata family. Tabata? How come that's not ringing a bell? They dissolved around when you swore up, and their members all went to other families. Oh, yeah, that happens. The Daidoji faction told me about them before I left Japan. The main reason the family broke up is because Yamai killed Shuji Tabata, his patriarch. It was patricide? No way. Something I'm no stranger to? Well, that's all in the past. Oh, I mean, I... I wasn't trying to accuse you or anything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Anyway, from the look of it, the murder was a crime of passion. Huh. Hard to imagine Yamai being passionate about anything. That's what the police said, anyway. Apparently, Yamai had feelings for Yui Tabata, the patriarch's wife. No wonder that didn't end well. Yeah, and when her husband found out, got into the fight that ended his life. Yamai then tried to assault Yui, who was present at the scene. After the dust settled, she testified everything he'd done to the police. What happened to him then? He was branded a traitor to the Tojo clan, and everyone went after his head. But by then, he'd up and disappeared. Nobody'd seen him since. Years later, he surfaced over here in Hawaii. While back home, the Tojo clan was crumbling. Guy's got a hell of a backstory. By the way, why'd he show up at akane sans in the first place? Uh, we were supposed to grab her, or at least you know, turn the house inside out looking for clues. I don't really know any more than that. So one thing we know is Yamai's definitely after her. The hell would the Yakuza want with akane san If I had any idea, I'd tell you. But like you said, the boss is the one calling the shots. All right, before my brain explodes, let me just lay this all out here. I started off by visiting Akane-san at her house, right? Uh, but instead of seeing her, I met a girl named Chitose. I thought she was her maid at the time. At first, I thought she was cool. But that was before she got me drunk, took my clothes, stole my wallet, and tossed me on the beach butt naked. Then, after waking up with sand all over my junk, I got arrested. They were gonna blame me for all these crimes I didn't do, but I escaped. That's when I ran into Kiryu-san. After catching up a bit, we went back to Akane-san's house to find clues on Chitose. But then Yamai showed up, and now we know he's after Akane-san too. Oh, and that's not all! 
that night, Shitose said Akane-san would be back the next day. But we were just there, and she was nowhere to be found. So for some reason, Akane-san's been in hiding. And since she wasn't home today, she's either still on the run... Or she's already been found. And since it's not by us or Yamai, then is somebody else after her too? I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Damn it! What do we do? If Akane-san's being chased around by a bunch of lunatics, we can't let them get to her! Unfortunately, we're a little short on leads right now. Not to mention, the day's grown long. You two can stay at my hotel, and we'll try again tomorrow. Yeah? Will that be okay? Not like you have anywhere else to go, right? Uh, no kidding. Thanks. Will that work for you, Tomizawa? I, I'm pretty much dead if I go home now. You might have probably got it under watch. Then it's settled. We'll call it from here. Join the party. Bye.
Shit face. <laughs> I find a paper fortune slip, so there's a cameo lap at the shrine in exchange for points, which you can trade for special items. Bad fortunes are worth one point, modest fortunes are worth two, good fortunes are worth three, and best fortunes are worth four points each. Learning more every day. Take your life. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's get it done. Here we go.
second time. Allow me. Looks like I'm up. We're not getting out of this. The battle is on. Here we go. Let's get it done. All right. This is the end. Don't look out now. No more holding back. This is gonna hurt. That's picking time. Allow me. Looks like I'm up. Hey. Let's get it done. Not a damn thing. Now it's done. done. Think I'm getting stronger. Wonder. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Hey! I'm even stronger now. You just say. All right, come what may. Hold on. Yes. Let's do it! Here we go.
Here we go. It's over! Alright! You're in it now! Here I come! You're out of here! Let's get it done! Oh, come on! Bring it! Open wide! Let's get it! Huh? Allow me. Time to pull you down! Looks like I'm up. Got you now! Should I open it? Sweet! Looks like this key opens up a container. Next one I find, this little guy's going in. soon. You ask it for a beaten? Right. You ask it for Whoa, a where'd this rain come from? I heard Hawaii gets a lot of sudden shit. Here's a nice hotel you've got. I don't know people sleep here, let alone afford it. <sighs> Sorry, bud. Jeez, careful, man. <clears throat> Damn it. I got my wallet. What the hell? You can't just go around stealing shit! Ugh.
Get your ass back here! <sighs> Kasuga. He probably knows the area better than us. Only way to do this is to split up and corner him. Little Japan's still under construction, so let's drive him south toward the beach. Okay. South toward the beach it is. Kiryu-san, Tomizawa, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. yeah. End of the line. Oh, shit! <sighs> Make sure he didn't pocket anything, Kiryu-san. Yeah, thanks. I don't recognize you. Did you come from the mainland, or...? Yeah, not here. A guy like me won't die of exposure. There's work here, too. At least that's what I heard. Kasuga, why don't you let him go? You sure? Last thing I want to do right now is drag him to the station. I'd rather just get to bed. <laughs> so the legend's as kind as he is strong. You hear that, buddy? Beat it. And don't do it again. <laughs> This happen a lot in Hawaii. Just another day in paradise, right? Oh, uh, fun fact. Hawaii's got the largest homeless population in America. Yet the cost of living here is absurd. You know, according well, to rumor, some states even send their homeless over here. Come start your miserable lives over beneath swaying palm trees, sparkling waves in the background. And once they get here, it's too late. The mainland's really doing is shunting all the problems they can't or won't solve on us. As a result, you get people like our friend just now. So your country treats this place like a dump? That's messed up. Let me put it another way. There are four major currents in the North Pacific Ocean. And Hawaii sits right in the middle. So when it's time to pump the trash out to sea, where do you think it ends up? Oh, you guessed it. The Aloha State again. <sighs> so yeah, pity him all you want. He's just gonna do it again. It's the only way he knows how to survive. <sighs> what? Akane-san's been missing for ten days? Then where the heck has she been? I don't know. I'm just telling you what the Daidoji told me. Well, that's not at all what Shitose said. That's the mate who set you up, right? Yeah. And based on what she told me, Akane-san was only gone for that day. Not sure why you believe a word she said. A and was she even Akane-san's maid? Uh, like, you would have to be the dumbest chick in the world to rob your employer's own son. But then... Why was she even there? <laughs> Hell if I know, man. Then we need to ask Chitose herself. That's the only way we'll get to the bottom of this. And get back your passport while we're at it. Right. Yomizawa, how would you turn a stolen passport into money? Well, we do have a black market for that sort of thing. Oh, yeah? Uh, sure. I mean, people buy up stolen goods all the time. And if it's passports, I know just the guy. Who? His, his name's Jeff. He runs a taco truck over on Waikiki Street. His tacos? Yeah. Tastes like ass. But that's beside the point. His real customers are 
pickpockets and the homeless. So he buys up stolen passports, and then what? Excuse me. No, no, he must be reselling them somewhere. Mm, then Chitose might have sold his passport to Jeff. He does see a lot of Japanese people. It's how he got to be so fluent in the language. How soon can you take us to meet him? What, you thinking like right now? Yeah, we should act before the trail goes cold. Well, I'm afraid that won't work. It's 10 on a Monday night. I wouldn't want to you know, get caught out there right now. Caught? By who? We take a good look and you'll see. Are they? The local mafia. They call themselves the Barracudas. As you can see, they got the run of the place. In terms of manpower, Yamai and his goons are just small fry. And what's interesting about them is they don't discriminate when recruiting. You know, since mafias tend to stick to one language or ethnicity. Then what brought these guys together in the first place? Well, once upon a time, they were all homeless, or at least most were. All those years of getting kicked around, gnawed, and spat on by society must have triggered something in them. And at some point, they decided to band together. I guess anger runs thicker than blood. Every Monday night is like this. They come out of the woodwork and strut around till dawn. It's like their way of saying, we own this place. And it works. Unless you want them turning you into poke, don't mess with them. Huh? They'll do what? Is there no way around? Can we just steer clear and make for Jeff's? No. Not unless you want to risk your life. Uh oh. We got trouble. Oh, no, dude. Don't do it. Not to them. Yes, yeah, I'll take care of it. Hey! Excuse me. Not so fast, asshole. Uh, beg your pardon. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? What's in your hand? My wallet, right? Take him around. See what's up, I don't want to see what's up. I don't want to die. Hey, hey! Are you nuts? Shit! I should have just said nothing! Go cry to your mom. Okay, you asked for it. That's kicking time. Allow me. All right. Oh, come on. Here we go. Looks like I'm up. That's picking time. All right. Too much for. This ain't a show, dipshit. You better remember me. Let's do it. 
Here we go. Let's get it done. Looks like I'm up. What? Allow me. And kicking time. Learning more every day. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Not a world knows a pair of you straight. Fuck around. Show that bitch yeah. right! Yeah, that's how you handle things. Hey, come on, bro. Leave his ass. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> with us hold it what's up you guys don't want to see this trust me uh, 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 what is he okay or not uh, hey Just cut him wide open. The last thing we want is to join him. We need to move fast. Hurry! Get up, man. We gotta go. You saw it. That was how the Barracuda sent a message. Barracuda? <laughs> Before, I'd only heard stories. Never thought I'd have to see the real thing. You all right there, man? Hell no, I'm not. We could have gotten killed just now. And no one would even miss us. The cops would just <whistles> walk away, leave the case unsolved. You saying they let a pack of killers roam free? As they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Same as the Yakuza in Japan, right? Take it from a local. We really need to call it a night. Tough as you two are, even you guys can't take on a whole army. Yeah, all right. Hmm. All right. Got it. <laughs> 